Hello everyone, my name is Adam Provost from Nutanix. In this video, we're going to go over how to deploy a Prism Central instance. So the first thing we want to do is log into our Prism Element interface. Uh, and you'll notice that this cluster is not connected. If there was a Prism Central registered with this cluster, you would see the Prism Central IP here uh, and you would be able to click on it. So as you can see, we don't have a Prism Central uh, registered. So we're going to go ahead and click on the register or create a new Prism Central. Uh, you're going to notice that you're prompted with two different options. Um, I have the ability to deploy a new instance or connect to an existing instance. Uh, so in this case, we're going to choose deploy. And you'll notice that I've already downloaded the binaries for 5.16.1.2. Um, you can do the download portion here. You also have the ability to do the upload as well. And so you can, uh, if you do not have access to the internet uh, or your uh, dark site, you have the ability to upload the binaries. So you simply download from the portal.nutanix.com. Uh, you have the ability to pull down the binary to do your Prism Central deployment, and then you have the JSON file. Both are required. The JSON file is like a handshake file to confirm that you have the right bits as well as that uh, your upload uh, and the binaries are compatible with the cluster that you're running. So since we've already done that, we're going to go ahead and click on install. Now I have two options here as well. So scale out Prism Central, if you think about it, it's we're simply doing the same thing that we do in a Nutanix cluster, but with our Prism Central instance. So I'm scaling out the workload. So in large deployments, uh, maybe heavy API driven environments, uh, if you're doing a lot of self-service portal, then you may want to do a uh, scale up Prism Central. In this instance, we're going to do the single Prism Central deployment. So we're going to go ahead and click on deploy one VM. And then I'm going to call this VM PC01. Okay. I'm going to pick my Nutanix container. Here I have one that's created. Uh, I'm going to choose the large Prism Central instance with eight vCPUs and 32 gigs of RAM. I'm going to go ahead and pick my network. Okay. Uh, if you have additional networks, you'd obviously see them here. I'm going to choose this network. I'm going to put in my IP address, uh, and then I'm going to put in my subnet mask. Okay. And then my default gateway is one. And then my DNS addresses are we're just going to go ahead and put one in there. Yeah, you can do multiple if you choose. And then we go ahead and click on deploy. And so the first thing it's going to do is it's going to do a consistency check on the bits to make sure that everything's healthy and happy. Uh, and then it will start to unbundle them and do the actual Prism Central deployment. So while this is going, uh, it does take a few minutes. So while this happens, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a break and we'll come right back. Now that our Prism Central has been deployed, you'll notice that we still don't have a Prism Central uh, link here yet. And the reason why is because we haven't actually connected to our Prism Central cluster and done the initial uh, password reset. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to connect to our Prism Central. Uh, we're going to go ahead and log in. Uh, and this is using the Nutanix default password for Prism Central deployments. And you'll notice that the first thing that we're prompted to do is to change that password. So I am going to go ahead and set it to something else that meets the password requirements. Go ahead and log in. Okay. All right. And you'll notice that the first thing that you have to do is you have to accept the, the EULA. Uh, and so this is just agreeing to our software terms here. We're just going to, because uh, it's a demo environment, we're going to bypass this. Um, this is one thing that I would recommend that you do leave on uh, if you are able to. Nutanix Pulse and telemetry data is really important to you as a customer as well as to Nutanix to help you with um, pre-failure warnings and, and all the alerts. We'll do a separate video uh, dedicated to Pulse, but uh, Pulse is something that you do want to leave on uh, whenever possible. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and leave it on and click Continue. And you'll see that we landed our Prism Central dashboard. Uh, there are a couple of quick click-throughs, right? So if you are uh, looking for any search characteristics, uh, there's tons of examples that you can find. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And what you'll see here is that there are no clusters connected, and that's by design. Uh, we want you to make sure that you have the Prism Central set up from a security perspective, uh, as well as from a, 
DNS and NTP and, and all of those different things first before we connect any clusters to it. So think uh, zero trust model. So we want you to be locked down uh, until you choose to open things up. So one of the very first things that we want to do from a Prism Central settings is go in, uh, verify that our name server is in there, uh, which again is very important. Um, and then you want to make sure that you go ahead and add in an NTP server. And so in this case, we're actually going to use the same IP that we used for name resolution for NTP. Uh, and the reason why we set those two things right away is number one, so that when Pulse alerts uh, and you're, as you're adding clusters, uh, you'll be able to do name resolution for things like Active Directory, for Pulse, if you were using an HTTP proxy or something like that. And then NTP ensures that we get things time synced right away. We want to make sure that uh, whatever time sources that you're using for your clusters uh, or internally uh, is meshed with the actual Prism Central settings. And so now uh, we have the basics to go ahead and set up a cluster. Uh, we're using local user accounts. Uh, we don't, you could go ahead and configure your authentication for things like Active Directory, and we'll do another video on that as well. But uh, just from a basic fundamentals, we're gonna go back to our cluster, our element, and then you'll notice we just click on register, and then I already have a Prism Central deployed. You click connect. Okay, all we're gonna do is migrate some control plane capabilities. Uh, things like self-service portal, uh, image, uh, centralized image repository, those types of things. We're going to migrate those to Prism Central for management. Go ahead and click Next. Our, so our Prism Central IP is going to be 10.46.23.10. Uh, you don't need to put a port unless you're doing some sort of port masking or you're doing some sort of uh, natting. Uh, so here we're just going to do the password that we set it to. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and click connect. And it should take about anywhere from 10 to you know 45 seconds for the connection to complete. Uh, this will, if it doesn't connect correctly, uh, it will tell you. So you can see that we have gotten uh, a completed registration to Prism Central. Um, now, if you click on here, you'll notice that the widget has changed. And if you click OK, it will take you to your Prism Central console. And there we go. So you now have your Prism element connected to your Prism Central, and you can start uh, deploying tasks and process and things from this point. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And again, this was the deployment of Prism Central for Nutanix.